hello 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 and welcome back to me talk tv because it's rena and i'm so happy to be that you are joining me on today y'all know what i know what, and you know what we're here for we are here because we are not me y'all but you are trying to get rid of these big books listen i don't have them anymore i haven't seen them anymore i'm just uh happy and all of that excuse me y'all um but i am so excited today because listen um I have so many shout outs to do. Thank you all for your comments and everything, your questions, all of that. I'm so happy um, when you come and do this because it gives me another video to do because I like to shout you all out once you leave a comment. And what better way to thank you out there than to shout you out on the next video. So if you are there and you want a shout out, go ahead and leave a comment at the bottom. I will answer your questions and I also will shout you out in the next video, okay? So, and make sure that you come back and watch the video so you can get the comment answered, the question I meant to say, and all of that jazz and get your shout out. So, let's get this thing started. I know I was rumbling a little bit, but anyway, we're going to get this thing started. Okay, so the first reason I know you're here is that is to get rid of bed books. So, I'm going to show you, well, I'm going to demonstrate at the end. So, please stay at the end of this video. I'm going to get the steamer and I'm going to show you how to fill it up. I'm going to show you how to steam your carpets as well. Okay. So please, please stay to the end of this video so you can get that demonstration. So here we go. The first way to get rid of bed bugs. And this is what I discovered back when, um, uh, probably two years ago, um, when I first discovered it just one moment okay i'm back so i just want to make sure that y'all can hear me out there on today okay so the first way i got rid of bed bugs i discovered that i you know needed something hot something with heat that would kill these bugs okay so i was like what do i have in my home that i can get rid of these bed bugs with i thought about it thought about it thought about it looked up to the ceiling and didn't know what to do um, until I said, well, I do have a steamer in there. I have a steamer. So I was like, let me give that a try. So I did take that steamer and I went in there and got, and, and got the steamer, filled it up, did all of that. And excuse me, y'all, please excuse me. I don't know why my allergies decide to start to act up while I'm on camera <laughs> anyway. But I got the steamer and I got the heat on, got it ready and I put the, the steamer on the bed bugs and y'all, they were dropping dead. Just right on contact. I was like, oh my God, I have discovered something here. So I was like, let me get online. Let me get on my channel and show you guys because I know it's a lot of people out there suffering with these bugs. And I was like, listen, we are going to get rid of bed bugs today. So I was like, let me do this first video. Now the first video did not take off y'all. It took the second video to take off because I stripped my whole bed down. You can go back and watch that video. I stripped my whole bed down and I just took everything off the bed and I went to where the frame was and I got up under the bed, did all of this stuff, y'all. I mean, when I tell you I cleaned it so good up under my bed, I took everything from up under my bed. Shoes, all of that stuff because they are hiding up under your bed, okay? So I did all of that, swept it out real good. And I steamed around the bed rails, around the headboard, all of that. I didn't know that bed bugs loved wood like they love wood. So if you have a wood bed at the house, please get your steamer and steam around that. Also get your alcohol and, and spray around that as well after you steam, okay? And then you can get your baking soda, go around your you know, the edges of your rug, all of that stuff with the baking soda because that kills them over time. The alcohol in the baking soda kills them over a long time. But I did discover that the alcohol will kill them on contact as well. So if you have alcohol in your home, make sure that you put it in a spray bottle, okay? And have that handy, okay? So if you see one at nighttime, you don't feel like getting up steaming, Get your hands on that alcohol bottle and start to spray them down. If you see one, spray it down, okay? So that is one of the good things about the alcohol um, that you can kill them on contact as well, you know, because sometimes you might think they're gone and they're not gone and you see one and you can just get up and spray it, 
debt, okay? And I do have a video that I did this year, not too long ago, probably last month, that you can go watch after this video, and it will show you that you can kill them on contact. Okay, so, y'all, I just had to tell y'all that I do want to go ahead and get to these comments real quick. Um, but I'm going to explain this one thing. The alcohol kills them over the long term, and the baking soda kills them over the long term as well because it dries out their foundation, it kills their eggs, it kills all of that stuff. So that is how you get totally rid of them, okay? Um, so that was like the icing and the cherry on the cake, honey. Um, so I'm just making sure that y'all know exactly what to do. And I want to go and answer some questions um, from these uh, comments. And this is the shout out. So the first shout out goes to Ivan. Ivan, shout out to you and thank you for leaving a comment. Also, it says, also, when I use the bomb in my garage, should I do with the doors open or closed? I'm going to let you know something. I have never, uh, and this is about the roaches, okay? It says how to get rid of roaches easy and fast. This is the video I did a while back on roaches because we know how to get, listen, I know how to get rid of them too, honey. Um, I know how to get rid of fleas too, so... Um, like I said, I will be coming up with that video about the fleas anyway. Um, but I've never, uh, bombed outside with the, uh, roach spray. I've never done that. Um, so I don't know what to do with that part. Okay. Because I did have a garage when I did my home, my house, I did my house only. Okay. I didn't even worry about the, the garage. I didn't have any more roaches after that. After I did the bombing and then I went and got this stuff. After I sprayed my whole house, I went and got this uh, bait and I put the bait down and that, that was the icing on the cake right there. It took them all away. It, I was sweeping up roaches for days, okay, um, because we had them like that. Yeah, we had them like that, um, but that is what you do, okay? You get online, get you some bait because this brings, it draws the roaches to it and they eat it and they die. So that is how you do that, okay? Um, but as far as the garage, I'm not sure about that because I did not do that in my garage. You probably won't even need to do that in your garage. Okay. Um, they shouldn't even be living in your garage. If it's hot outside, it shouldn't be no way they can live out there. Okay. So let's get to the next shout out. And this goes, this shout out goes to Ivan again. Do you have Instagram? Yes, I have Instagram and you can check it out at uh, Brown Diamond Rena. That is my Instagram. So go and type that in and you will see Brown Diamond Rena. That is my uh, Instagram and it it goes with my other channel, Brown Diamond Rena. Okay. So I have another YouTube channel that's Brown Diamond Rena and you can check all of that out if you like to. I'm going to go ahead and give you a heart. I'm giving everybody a heart that left a comment. That lets you know that I did get to your comment and I am on here, um, you know, answering your questions. Kathleen DiPetro, DiPetro says, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Please charge it to my head, not my heart now. Um, thank you. And shout out to you, Kathleen. She says, thank you. Um, it was thousands to have someone to treat my home. Thank you. You are so welcome. And I, I absolutely understand that. I know um, because somebody was going to have to come to my apartment when I was in an apartment and they was just going to have to keep coming and keep coming. And then they, they said, we got to pay every time. Listen, the apartment was not paying. We had to pay for that. And I'm like, no, no, it's not going to happen. Um, so yeah, so I took out the time to figure out, did some research, how to get rid of these bugs. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and leave you an automatic comment that says, glad I could help. Uh, so yeah, and we're going to the next shout out. Ivan again, shout out to you. I sleep in a garage. There's close, there's closed food cans, beans. Can the roaches be attracted, to, attractive to that? If they're closed, then no, they're closed. So there's no way that the roaches can get in there and, you know, try to eat anything if it's closed up okay so don't worry about that um and shout out to you again and so i'm going to go to the next shout out 
and that is to flying UFOs. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, shout out to you. This can't happen to anyone, anybody. They're disgusting. Thank you for this video. So, oh, she handles this like a champ. <laughs> I'm going to give you a heart and thank you for your comment as well. And shout out to you again, Flying U UFOs or whatever. If that's the name, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce it right. Um, and I'm trying to do this quickly on my uh, laptop because it's trying to go down, y'all. It's time trying to go down on me. Uh, it's trying to, you know, and I have to plug it up. So the next shout out, thank y'all. Y'all are doing the thing on today. I really appreciate that. The next shout out goes to... Mamitia, did you get rid of yours? How long did it take? Yes, I got rid of mine. Um, and y'all, it took it took uh, literally some months. Okay, um, so these things are like I had just learned what to do with them, so that's why it took me a long time. Now I know how to get rid of them. Listen, it, it wouldn't take me long at all because I know what to do. Um, just like when they try to come and creep up in him because new people been coming and stuff been coming. Listen, uh, I know what to do, so it didn't even bother me. I know how to get rid of them. So now I know what to do. Um, and she says, also, my my daughter and I keep getting bit. I found some on the bed, like four. Oh, I read, I read that comment the last time, and I did answer that question or comment. I'm so, so excited for you guys being here with me on today. And I know that y'all are struggling out there. I know that you are irritated, upset, hurt, because these things hurt when they bite you. So I know um, how it is. And that's one of the reasons I was wrecking my brain, like, <laughs> I'm going to find something to get rid of these bugs. So that's why I'm here to help you out there on today. So please... Please share these videos with your family, your friends, people that you come in contact with. Because listen, if they don't have them, they can sure enough get them. And we want them to be prepared for when they get them. So send them to these videos. I promise you, they will not be disappointed. They will get rid of these bed bugs. And I do have people in the comments saying that, you know, thank you and that they've gotten rid of them. So just living proof. That is proof right there. So I'm so, so excited on today, and I want y'all to stay tuned because I am fixed to do some demonstrations for you guys on today. So hold your horses out there and watch this demonstration. Okay, here you go. You got your steamer right here, okay? Now, you want to take this off, okay? I don't know why this is so hard today. Why? I see why. I was taking it the wrong way, y'all. And so you want to fill it up, like I told you, the max is right here. So you want to fill this up. It does not matter what kind of steamer that you have. I do have it down in the description for you guys. So if you want to get your hands on a steamer, go down in the link. I mean, yes, down there in my description, in the link. And you can get your hands on the steamer, the alcohol, and the baking soda. And I'm sorry I didn't mention to you in the front of the first of this video um and also the 10 in 1 the steamer that is a floor steamer and it also has a mop on it so you can do your floors so once you get this filled up to where it's supposed to be to the max make sure you put this back on yes i have to demonstrate for you guys okay um but yeah get on my uh, amazon affiliate link and you can get your hands on your steamer so you can start getting rid of these bed bugs okay put it on there like that and we're gonna get it ready to steam okay okay you just want to sit here and wait till you see that steam okay it's gonna be a little minute but it's gonna come up okay and yeah you just want to wait till that steam come up Right. Okay, y'all, here's the steam. Can y'all hear it? Can y'all see the steam? Yes, honey. So what you want to do is put it on down here like this. Hold it in a spot for a second or two or however. And move around real slowly because you want to make sure that if they're in your rug, that you are totally getting that hair area hot enough to take them out and their eggs, okay? So you just want to move it around very, very slowly. So
so that you can make sure that you are getting rid of these bugs, okay? Now your steamer is gonna cut off a little bit just to cool off for a little while after it steams. So don't think that it's broken up because y'all used to be like, what is wrong with this thing? Why it ain't keep steaming? But look at it, y'all. This is so much better than the uh, iron. I see people sometimes you are using an iron, but you ain't got to keep doing like this, you know? You just put that steam over that thing and you just let it go, you know? You just move that steamer around so that heat can get in there, okay? And the same way with your furniture. You want to get do your furniture like this, your uh, couches and stuff like that. Take the pillows off. Now, I'm going to tell you all the mistake I did after I do this demonstration. I'm going to tell you what I did. Oh, I got a little bit close to my camera, y'all, with the steamer. But I just want to go around so you can get the gist of what you need to do. And don't hold it all the way down. As you can see, water is dripping out of there. So you don't want that. So kind of hold it up a little bit until it goes down. Now, if it goes down a little bit more, then you can hold it down a little bit more so that water won't be, um, you know what I'm saying, wasting out of there. And you can just steam with no issues at all look at that look at that yes i love this thing so much this has been such a life saver okay i'm just so absolutely in love with this thing here y'all that it just doesn't make sense because this will get rid of every bed bug every egg every all of that but like I said, if you want to continue to kill them over the long haul, um, because the steamer is not the only way to kill them. It's, you know, it's on contact. But to keep to keep killing them is to get rid of the foundation, is to get rid of the eggs, okay? So that's why we get the alcohol, we get the baking soda, we put that around because, like, it dries out their foundation. They cannot survive with it, okay? I'm so, so excited on today to be bringing y'all this video. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and become a channel member so you can learn more about how to get rid of these bugs. If you have been struggling with them, I've heard some of y'all say y'all been struggling with these bugs for about three years. That is absolutely unacceptable. Like, how can you do that? Like, no, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't doing this for no whole three years, y'all. Not even a year. No. But you do have to stay on top of this, okay? Because if you don't, they will multiply and they will continue to multiply. And and then it's going to be hard, okay? And you don't want an infestation, so you don't want them to multiply. So you have to get up. You can't be lazy with this situation here. You have to work hard. Just like when those exterminators come to your home. They have to come back. They have to keep coming back because because you're not going to just get rid of them overnight. It's not going to happen, okay? Now, I've heard some people say getting rid of them in 24 hours, but I I haven't seen that yet. I'm still looking for that, like when and where and how. The only way I think that that can happen is if you just throw everything out, heat your house up and all of that. That's the only way I think that that can happen. You get down to the nitty-gritty, you know, just heat your whole house up for a couple of days and leave. You know, I don't know. But that would be a sure miracle worker right there. A whole miracle worker. So I'm going to come back and talk to you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so you see that is how you um, do your rugs. And I did my whole carpet like that, y'all. But I made it easier for you out there today to have a floor steamer so you won't have to get down on your hands and knees and steam your floor, okay? So get your hands on that that 10 and 1 that will be down there in the description. Also, that handheld will be down in the description as well, okay? And the baking soda and the alcohol. And make sure you get your hands on the tea tree oil as well because that will stop them from going all over your home. If you have a room that don't have bed bugs, that tea tree oil will stop them in their tracks from going all over your home when you go to another room now that's what happened to us we would go to another room and they will follow us like two days later probably a day or two later they'll be in there and eating on us again so 
make sure that you do that okay get your tea tree oil as well and you can go on Amazon my Amazon affiliate link and get any other products that you want as well but make sure that you get it within the 24 hours girl so you can support your girl but anyway and guy um but anyway we're gonna go I'm gonna talk to y'all about what I did wrong um when I first started because I didn't really know what I was doing listen I got that steamer I steamed my cover I steamed the, the, the couches real good um, I took the couch pillows off of the couch, swept up under there, did all of that. I did the right thing with that, but I took the pillow covers off, put them in the washer. Why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. And I want to tell you all, don't do that, okay? Because it really tore my couches up. looked like a dog was scrambling, just scratching in my, my couches. You, you know, the washer really messed up my couches. Like, and I wish I knew from the beginning that I did not have to do that. All I had to do was steam and that's all I had to do. And it got rid of them because they were on the pillows, all of that. And I got them, I got them off my pillows because I just steamed the pillows. That's all I did. But that was the one mistake that I made that I don't want you to make out there. Do not take that, those uh, covers off of your um, couches and then it was hard to put them back on there as well you can just steam and that's all you have to do and you don't have to worry about it okay so that's why I wanted to tell you on today because I want you not to make the same mistake I did okay because I was upset it hurt me because I didn't even have that couch long like that couch literally I think did it come in a box if I'm not mistaken, it was in a box, y'all. It was in the total whole box. And I said, a couch in a box? Really? Um, so I just want to help you out there to not make the same mistake I did. Don't take the pillow covers off and put them in a washer. Just steam it. That's all you have to do. I had to learn that the hard way. Okay? So I'm so, so happy that you all have joined me on today day on me talk tv thank you for everything you do i always want to come and appreciate you because listen you don't have to take out the time to do anything um on my videos or anything and you don't have to leave a comment you don't have to do none of these things but i really appreciate you doing that for me i thank you for even if you watch the commercials if you um you know, watch the videos all the way to the end. And you know what? Watching these videos all the way to the end will really help because it's best results for you to really get, you know, something out of the video to know exactly what to do. And also, you're helping me out as well. So I really appreciate that on today. I thank you for all my new subbies, all the ones that's been here from day one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. I'm so, so glad on today. Now, I'm going to go. But I will be back. So I'll see you in my next video and be blessed on today. And don't let them little critters in your house get them out your house.